everybody. Thank you for joining me for today's video. We're going to look at horses forecast for July the 21st all the way into September of 2024. So much is happening horse. According to the Chinese Zodiac, 2024, the year of the wood dragon, is an overall lucky year for horse natives. And this period, we see that this is true as well. So we're going to dive into your career, your romance, your health, and your travel sectors in this video. And I want Want to once again say this is my take on the energy and the astrology and also there are thousands and thousands of horse natives out there not everything is going to resonate what doesn't resonate no worries just leave it behind and take what does so let's dive in and look at your career prospects as we end July and begin August we see employed horse natives will continue to work hard for this entire cycle you're enjoying work more now so it's not as strenuous as it's been in the past, this is no great hardship for you. It's likely you'll be assisted though from someone influential in your place of business or the company where you work now. Someone has noticed your hard work, your dedication, and your great team skills and is appreciative. This will open the door for opportunities for advancement to a higher position and a raise in salary. Now while this may not happen within this cycle, it has at least started the process. So continue to be diligent at work and soon you will see a larger paycheck and more rewards. So good job there, horse. When we look at gig workers and self-employed horse natives, are you outgrowing your workspace? Probably. And this is a good thing, but it can make you uncomfortable because you're not quite ready to scale up yet, but still you're not comfortable where you are. Things are not as efficient as they could be, and you know that you could reach higher volume of sales if you had the right equipment or office space, but you're just not ready to commit because it's a big leap forward. So yeah, it's kind of an interesting position to be in because you, you do see growth, but yet you're having to be realistic about will this continue and will you be able to afford these new prices? It won't hurt to start looking around for a bigger spot or office options. It doesn't mean you have to sign with anyone or that you have to commit to it, but just getting an idea and getting this information will help you set goals for the future and let you know how much money you need to bring in consistently to be able to do this. Yeah, it's also wise during this cycle to get to know your employees a little bit better and this will help out sales overall. As you mingle with staff and even temporary or part-time workers, your enthusiasm can inspire them to work harder in promoting your business and that in turn will of course bring in more income for the next few months as well. You're really behind your product and you really understand its value, but some of the people coming in and helping may not. So it's really important that you do connect with them and make sure that they're on board. Teamwork and recognizing hard work specifically by your staff will encourage everyone. So just put in a little bit of extra time with them and you'll see the rewards really start coming in. For unemployed people born in the year of the horse, you may be thinking of taking up a, a hobby or a side hustle and turning it into a more permanent form of income because you're just not finding the types of employment that you really want. You're getting offers for jobs, but they're just jobs. They're not careers. So this may be the time where you do that, where you follow your passion and turn it into a business. You've been doing research but before you rent out space or go all in in a big way, dedicate a special spot in your living area to conduct business and put your ideas into motion and then start posting online about it and see what response you receive. And I really suggest you do this rather than rush out there, buy space, buy equipment and do all of this with your savings and find out that it's going to take years to really start generating the kind of income that you need. So if you could start a realistic budget and and stick to it, organize and revamp of course as needed, but don't overspend just yet to really take the pressure off yourself. If you can, like I say, maybe work a couple of temp jobs in the background as you get this set up to keep the income flowing, then you'll see that things come together quickly because you won't be as stressed. And it's really difficult to be creative when you are stressed horse, which I know you know already. So the calendar month of August may be slower overall for sales, but this is a great time to plan your offerings for the holidays and the end 
end of the year. So take advantage of that. And like I say, just set a realistic goal and go slow with this. I think the business will work out and it, it, it can be your passion project that turns into a, a lucrative career. But like I say, just don't spend everything going going all in before you have some experience with it and you have the data behind it. Okay, looking at your health. August through September, horse natives will need to pay extra attention to their well-being. Horse, as an individual, you should not take risk or engage in any risky activity during this time. It will be essential for you to be cautious and not push yourself too far in the heat or overindulge with alcohol. And by the way, did you know that alcohol is considered poison to wood dragons? And we are in the year of the wood dragon. So you may see that, you know, one or two drinks normally don't bother you or you don't have a reaction to say fruity drinks or a certain type of alcohol, you may see now suddenly you do because like I say, it is poison to wood dragons. Be aware of that and really know their situation and know your limit. Pick activities that are more wholesome and safe for this period. No skydiving, no parasailing, no skiing, nothing like that. And don't commit to any kind of activity that could be more taxing on your body than you realize because it's been something maybe you played when you were in school or something you played in your early 20s, but yet you haven't, you know, you haven't done it in decades. So don't do that. And also don't start a new career as a race car driver this month, okay? <laughs> I don't see any major accidents happening. It's more about you just taking risk and then consequences of that. So yeah, just be mindful of that. And then this period, of course, will pass. Emotionally, we see the full moon on Sunday, July the 21st. You will have the opportunity to reconnect with a relative or a dear person from the past. And this is something that can bring great joy into your life. You may be anxious or nervous right before the encounter, but afterwards you'll be so glad you went through with the meeting and you will feel closer to this individual. We also see romantically that, yeah, there's a possibility of someone from the past showing back up as well, but this is this is different. This is some family member that you haven't seen in a very long time or maybe haven't even seen as an adult come back into your life, so exciting. So let's look at your romance sector. If you're a horse looking for love in 2024, you may find yourself attracted to people who share your passion for family, travel, and personal freedom. August is one of the best calendar months this year to meet a new partner. So do go out and be social. Put yourself out there on dating apps and just um, put your best foot forward. If your family or friends are having events, then plan to attend looking your best. You never know who you're going to meet. And speaking of that, you could enjoy a chance meeting the cycle with a person from a different culture and background. This could result in a very exciting love affair. Woohoo! So just resist the urge to commit too quickly. Let the relationship unfold organically and don't push. Don't overcommit to it in the beginning. Let it unfold and enjoy this. Enjoy the ride. You may find that you're almost falling at, for this person immediately, almost like love at first sight, but don't commit yet, okay? Just go slow and let it evolve. Committed horse natives will need to put in extra effort to, into the relationship this cycle. You're getting a long well enough with your partner in general, but you have a lot going on between work and your hobbies and, you know, maybe a side business that you don't have a lot of time left over for your partner. And uh, yeah, this is not good. You may not have time to really be present like your partner needs you to be. So this can lead to silly and pointless arguments. If this happens, take an active approach to solve the disagreement so you can get to the root cause and clear things up. Spending time together alone will also help. Make time to be with your partner during the cycle and you will see harmony return to home. Okay, let's look at your travel sector. Will you be traveling? Likely you've already traveled in June and July, horse, and now you're more focused on other things like your career and your love life. That's fine, but traveling family members may visit or even stay at your house. You could feel a little anxious about this, about them judging your home, or will you know, will you be able to spend enough time with them? So there could be a little bit of anxiety around this, but don't worry. Don't worry about it all. This could foster better communication with your family and help you learn more about your family's history. And yeah, it, they're not really 
only coming to, you know, judge your home or anything like that. They're coming to spend time with you and to get to know you and your family. So just relax on that and know everything is going to be okay. There might be some more traveling before the end of the year, especially a work trip or something like that, but not so much between now and September. Okay, so this was a lot of stuff happening for horse natives and it is a really good month. Like I say, there can be some petty squabbling between partnered or committed horse natives, but it's nothing that's going to, you know, be a deal breaker. It's just going to make you a little, you know, frustrated or aggravated, but spend time with your partner and that'll go away. Work-wise, yeah, you're going to be, you're going to be putting in the hours at work, but it's not the drain on your energy or your resources that it used to be. Other than it just taking your time, it doesn't leave you feeling gross afterwards. So this is a big improvement. Pretty good month overall for horse natives. I hope you enjoyed this mini reading. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and being part of the community here. If you did enjoy this video, why not let me know in the comment section and let me know what type of horse you are as well. So stay tuned for the next video. Reiki blessings!